is the 21st of January 2022 and I'm just going to show you the page in my journal today. Um, I've collected together a few bits and bats for texture. So I'm going to start off by doing a background on this little page here. And I'm just going to rip up random bits of paper and make some texture for the background. So I have some old music papers, I have some old book pages, I have some little, this is a page from a gardening, an old vintage gardening book. Some maps that I printed out, scraps from that. We've got this, which is um, from a old photograph album. It's got a nice bobbly, rough texture. So I'm just going to rip off a bit of that, stick it on. So for this, we're not really bothered too much about the images that we're sticking down. It's more about the textures. This is some tracing paper or baking paper that I've just scrumpled up for some texture. And we've got a bit of masking tape. I'm just going to rip off. So I think that'll do for my texture for now. Uh, I'm going to use some gesso, a piece of card. And I'm just going to scoop up some of the gesso and scrape it on to these to this background that I've made. So you can do thicker in some areas, thinner in others. Once you've done that, if there's an area that you'd like to show through more, you can just get some wet paper towel, or tissue, and just wipe off some excess. And then you can either leave that to dry or dry it with a hair dryer, which I will do. So now that's dry, we're going to start making some designs and patterns on our page. So I'm just going to get some black acrylic paint, put it in there. I'm just using some Dela Rowney acrylic colour. I'm going to use the end of this pencil. I'm going to dab it in the paint. I'm going to use this rubber as a stamp. So I'm just going to stamp randomly different places. Okay. 
when you're finished you can just wipe the end of your pencil so it can be used again. And now I'm going to try painting a piece of uh, wallpaper here which has got like an embossed pattern on it. I'm going to paint that lightly with my acrylic paint and then I'm going to use it like a stamp. No idea if this is going to turn out any good or not, but we'll give it a go. Press on the back there. That's left quite a nice pattern. So I'm going to add a bit more paint and do that again. Okay, then I'm going to dry this layer again, so I'll be back in a second. Now I've got an old piece of card and I'm just going to cut out a random shape and I'm going to make like almost like a leaf kind of shape which can be whatever you want it to be. And what I'm going to do is, using my paintbrush and some gesso, I'm going to paint round this shape so that we are muting some of the the marks we've made and creating a focal point in the middle. So when you lift up the shape there should be a bit of a bold a bit in the middle and then the bits around the edge have been muted. I'm just going to dry that again. Now I've got some Liquitex Professional Acrylic Ink here and I'm just going to randomly drip some of the ink onto my book. Like so. and then dry it again and now that's dry I'm going to get a black pen um, a black fine liner pen like this one and I'm going to just make some scribbly writing on it so it's better. So we're going to make some writing marks over the surface. If it helps you, you can pretend that you're writing something specific, but just make it as loose and illegible as you can. Now, using, just using my finger and a bit of um, gesso, I'm just going to drag some paint over the surface. I'm 
maybe do the same with some black. works particularly well on this spotty texture here. And now you've got your background and to finish mine off I'm just going to choose a sticker to put in the middle. So I've got this antiquarian sticker book which I use regularly. I'm going to find myself a sticker to put in. Um, I quite like the hearts. So I've got a heart image here. I'm going to stick in and then I'm just going to go around it with my black and white paints. And then I think I'm going to add some letters. So I've got these letters here. And I'm going to make a word out of them. Although there isn't all the letters there. But we'll make it work. So I've cut out my letters and I'm just going to stick them on. Just using normal glue Add a few finishing touches and there we have it, our mini art journal page for January the 21st, 2022. Hope you enjoyed that, see you again soon.